Truth Minister Paul Scott here with beautiful Sister C. Asia from Newark, New Jersey, but now we're blessed to have in North Carolina, give graciously given an interview with Militant Mind Militia. What's going on, Sister? Oh, peace, peace. I'm glad to be here, definitely. All right, Sister, now we want to ask you, first of all, um, about your views on what's going on with hip-hop right now. Uh, what do you think is going on hip hop? Where's the direction going? Where do you see the state of hip hop in 2010? Well, hip hop, unfortunately, is right now being used as a weapon. Uh, the powers that be, whatever, the powers that were given, it doesn't mean that they really exist. Um, recognize the power in hip hop in terms of how uh, rapid information could be shared just by the attraction of music and sound. And once they saw the power of hip hop in the 80s and how it actually made a group of fatherless and motherless and hood and poor children in the Northeast become so uh, knowledgeable with conscious hip hop at that time. Uh, and you know what I'm saying, just in unify and then we were unified. They recognized that and once they saw how fast it spread, now it's being used as a weapon. It's a billion dollar industry. And unfortunately, our babies today are uh, uh, throwing it up. They're bank, they're gang banging, and um, you know they were gang banging in the uh, late '80s and the '90s when the West Coast was representing hip hop. They, 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 they applied gang culture in it then, but you at least had a balance. There's no balance anymore. So anything of one side is dangerous, no matter what. So that's that's it. It's, it's, it's a weapon in 2010. All right. Now, um, speaking of contradictions and the. Uh uh, different, I guess, conditions of hip hop and the different manifestations of hip hop. Yeah, that's a better word. Different manifestations of hip hop. What's your view on what Plies is doing? Now, Plies is known for having like music disrespecting African queens or whatever, whatever. But he came out of the blue and did something called "Why You Hate Me," dealing with white supremacy. What's your view of the song and the hypocrisy or the contradictions and doing a song like "Why You Hate Me," but then again being famous for something like uh, Becky? Replies and many artists, you know what I'm saying? You like on their side, hey, they'll have, you know, your your Becky music, you know what I mean? And they'll have music about sex, blowjobs, everything you could think of under the sun on side A or side B, doesn't matter. And then side B will be the part that is compassionate and it talks about the community and it talks about their homies and it'll talk about the women and it'll talk about, you know, Brenda's having a baby, you know what I mean? It'll actually have a message which tells you. Even the people that finance and fund his project recognizes the reality of choice. You know what I'm saying? So that's the thing, you know what I mean? With everything in life, including hip hop and music, that they will have music that will have either you choose savagery or you choose righteousness. You know, it's a choice. Even with me, I mean, I had, you know, I still listen to my Mob Deep Infamous album. I still listen. Give up the goods, and that's a song about sticking people up. You feel me? So you know, but it doesn't mean that I'm not. I'll go run out and put you know a burner to somebody's head over five dollars. It's a choice. Everything is a choice. So with Plies, real quick to sum it up, with the with the uh, song that he has in terms of why me, that's his decision to beg and ask them why me. You brother, you know what it is. You feel me? You are in the same uh, meeting rooms with the same with the same kind of man. So you know what time it is. The why me is a plea or begging of why are you doing this to us? Who gives a shit what they doing? That's 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 our problem now. They make what a, an alleged oppressor be relevant in their reality. Those are my sons. I'm not asking them damn crackers about why me. I am who I am. I'm the mother of civilization. So he could ask why me, not me. I know exactly what time it is and it doesn't apply to me. Why you, homeboy? The hell with <laughs> All right, sister. I know you're doing a lot of stuff with stopping the violence in hip hop. Um, how's that going, and what's the future for that as far as stopping the genocide and mental side of our people? True. Let me say this in terms of like Lil Wayne and Rocka Flock, because you know these are the names that always come up in terms of the mental side that's going on inside of the uh, hip hop. And uh, I would say, yes, they are a detriment to our youth, no question about it. But our babies got to strengthen up, you feel me? I say the same thing even to my daughter. My daughter's been in the teaching since three years old, and she's made some decisions. 
I had conscious music around me, you know, since I was growing up in hip hop. Doesn't mean that I didn't make any bad decisions or choices. We can't become so holy where we forgot that we made bad decisions when it was red, black, and green everywhere. You understand what I'm saying? Don't become so holy where you forgot. We talk about our youth, our youth, but the gun violence was still happening when you had brand Nubians out. Crack was still going on. People were still slinging crack in the name of Allah or in the name of Muhammad's or in the name of Bays and L's. People were still selling crack when that 80s conscious music was out. Let's knock it off. Let's not be hypocrites to our youth. Let them know we identify and we recognize that. You know, there's a dis we have to teach them to make better decisions. So what my movement does is it doesn't ignore the fact that we've been hypocrites ourselves too. You feel me? We gonna, Everything is real. What we teaching them is that just make a better decision. You have a choice. Don't think that when you embrace this life that you decide to do, even as a homie or even as a crip. You know what I'm saying? Even as that, you have a choice to be foul or you have a choice to be righteous. You have a choice to bang but to bang a person's life or you have a choice to bang for change which one is going to be so I don't knock anybody's hustle for what they do everything is real but we have a decision to make and sometimes I understand we have to make decisions that those don't agree with in order to do the good but make sure no matter what you do stay positive as much as you can want as much as you can because we can't afford it we need each other we need to be unified and that's what the hip hop community call of action is about that's what a queen by all means is about my movement a queen by all means is to teach people to make proactive decisions in the belly of them. You know what I'm saying? So with Plies and Waka Flocka, they do what they do, but make a decision, side A or side B of them. I, could, I, I like some of Plies' songs. You know what I'm saying? I like some of Waka Flocka's music, but I choose some things that, you know, I can make a decision for myself. I could listen to that music and not go out there and kill somebody. You feel me? So that's when we got, we got to become strong within ourselves. Don't knock the next man. You ain't have no business following them anyway. You take the best part and you keep them moving. Words from the Queen, Truth Minister Paul Scott, Militant Mind Militia. Peace, sister. Peace.